Anthropic has announced their flagship model, which is Claude 3.7 Sonnet. It is the first reasoning model, hybrid reasoning model that comes out of Anthropic. And according to Anthropic, this is their most intelligent model to date. And this is a model that is just an upgrade from Claude 3.6 uh, Sonnet or the newer version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this model can do two things that would make developers love this model. One, first of all, it is going to make the raw step by step thinking visible to the user, unlike OpenAI, which decided to show the chain of thought only as a summarized version. Anthropic has decided to open like transparently share what is the visible chain of thought. The second thing is the most important thing I've never seen any company doing, but ideally they should be doing is API users like developers can also specify how long the model can think for. So the Claude 3.7 Sonnet comes with something called an extended thinking. So there is an extended thinking mode that you can switch on or switch off. For example, if you have got a trickier question, then you can switch it on. If you do not have a trickier question, you have a simple question, then you can switch it off. But even when you switch on the extended thinking mode, then you have you as a developer has an ability to set a thinking budget. You can say maybe it can use 10,000 tokens, maybe it can use 20,000 tokens. So this precise control of how long Claude can think on a particular problem is going to be a great feature for developers who are trying to build on top of thinking model. Because the biggest problem right now is thinking models exist. Sometimes they think unnecessarily longer, which is not required for the given problem statement. And this is exactly what Claude 3.7 Sonnet has cracked. And not just that, this model is going to be amazingly great at coding. And we have always seen Claude models, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, since the start of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it is a great coding model, irrespective of what benchmarks say, irrespective of what the leaderboard is. People have always raved about the quality of Claude 3.5 Sonnet in coding, especially with the use of cursor. And this 3.7 Sonnet is going to set a new benchmark. And Claude comes with a new feature called Claude Code, which is like a code editor kind of a setup from Anthropic itself. So it might possibly mean that Anthropic is going to go up in the chain, go into verticals, because unlike OpenAI, Anthropic has been focused primarily on frontier models. So this might mean that Anthropic is also deciding that, okay, at the end of the day, we have to make money and we can't make a lot of money with only frontier models. And uh, tools like Windsurf and Cursor have made a lot of money using Claude as a model. So why don't we commercialize that? So it looks like Claude code is a part of that and they might actually see how it is going to go. And uh, Claude code is more like a nader than like a cursor. So the biggest problem with this model, I would say right off the bat is the pricing. So if you were to compare the pricing of this model, so Claude 3.5, 3.7 on it, the most intelligent model with visible step-by-step -step reasoning comes with 200,000 context window, but the token input token cost is $3 per million token. Now, if you were to take this and literally compare it against O3 mini, which is from OpenAI, then O3 mini is less than half of the cost. So the input token is 1.1, $1.10, while here the input is $3. And the output token here in this case, without caching, forget about caching for a moment, output is 4.4, and here in this case is $15. So this is a huge difference, but this is me assuming that this new model from Anthropic Claude 3.5, 3.7 on it is a no three mini level model, not an O1 mini O1 level model. If you have to consider this to be O1 level model, then this price is quite competitive, but that is something that we have to wait and see. But in terms of benchmarks, it seems like a great model. So you can see all these kind of different benchmarks. SWE Bench Verified is a set of data uh, from uh, GitHub issues, and you expect these models to solve these GitHub issues. And you can see OpenAI O1 is 48.9, and just without any custom scaffolding, this model has scored 62.3%. And with some custom scaffolding, this model can go up to 70%, 70.3%, which is uh, the, with the extended thinking. And the same goes for agentic use cases. Looks like Anthropic has doubled down on the agentic use cases and coding use cases with this particular model. And once again, this scores are better than 
OpenAI own. So if you consider this to be a no one level model, I, I just did not put it at the O1 level because for OpenAI, this is O1 is a flagship model. The mini is like smaller version. And for Anthropic, Opus is a flagship. Well, Sonnet is like one level below, but it looks like based on the release and the benchmarks, this could be an O1 level model when you compare it with OpenAI. Then this pricing makes a lot of sense. And you have got also the 50% discount with batch processing. And you've got prompt caching and all the other things that you expect that developers would love. I think the biggest thing here in particular case, I would say that this model with the extended thinking, without the extended thinking and with the extended thinking has consistently shown improvement in performance. Just look at 3.7 Sonnet and 3.7 Sonnet with extended thinking, the 64,000 tokens extended thinking. Just merely enabling extended thinking has improved the model accuracy on multilingual MMLU 83.2% to 86%. GPQA from 68% to 78% and uh, Math 582% to 96% and um, AIME 23% to 61%. So across all the benchmarks, just merely enabling the extended thinking, this model has done much, much better job. And you can compare it with one of the most raved model recent times is DeepSeek R1. So even if you compare it with the DeepSeek R1, 71.5% on GPQA, this is 78.2%. Grok 3, 80.2%, but also Grok 3. The reason Grok 3 has got this particular answer is because there is a footnote here. Grok 3 high and O1 results are based on a number of samples 64. They use majority voting. Like if you have got 64 samples, they would pick what is the best answer out of 64 samples. And based on that, they give the score. While Claude 3.7 sonnets is based on internal scoring with parallel test time compute. They're not doing it separately, but they're doing it a separate scoring. I think this is a very, very, very impressive model. They've got a bunch of demos about how you can use Claude code and all the other things. And they've also set a vision. So the vision here is basically, if you were to see in 2024, Claude is being an assistant. Claude helps individuals do their current work better, making each person the best version of themselves. In 2025, they expect Claude to be a collaborator. So first one is like more like an intern. The second one is more like your partner. And in 2027, they expect that Claude finds breakthroughs, solutions to challenging problems that would have taken years for the teams to achieve. So this is probably like a great vision, but it almost seems like OpenAI as a company is becoming more commercial company and Anthropic as a company is more developer code first company. If you want to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet, all you have to do is go to Claude.ai and then just add your question there. And you can see that the latest model Claude 3.7 Sonnet is currently available. So this is a model that is available as part of the free plan, but Anthropic is known for their infra being not available most of the time. So I hope they have improved this. But for now, you can go here and then just search for this. And then you can see immediately Claude 3.7 Sonnet doing things for you. I'll solve the quadratic equation and then it is doing certain things. This model is very straightforward. It looks very fast at this particular point, even though we don't have any benchmarks around speed. And I guess this model, given that they're planning to use it part of code, this is going to be a model that we will see a lot of people raving about. Let me know what you think about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.